guys. Um, so this is going to be my Friday reads, but also mostly um, my Dewey's 24-hour readathon TBR, which is going to probably not be surprising because it's all the books that I haven't finished. Yay! Um, before I get into it, though, I did want to mention, oh, I'm really excited. I went to a Margaret Atwood event, and so she signed my copy of The Handmaid's Tale. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, she was talking about she has a new book coming out, or it's out now at this point, and it was really, really awesome. She spoke for like an hour, and um, it was it was incredible. She was so lovely. I was just sad because there was no personalizations because there was so many people. I was number, they gave like everyone tickets, and I was number 98, and there's still like way over 100 people waiting to get their book signed. Um, so it was really, really rad, and she was talking about how there's going to be a graphic novel of The Handmaid's Tale coming out in, like, the beginning of 2017, so I'm, like, super stoked. I didn't love this book, um, but I am excited to read the graphic novel, and I do want to reread it, like, in a few years, because I don't think I, like, I got it, but I think I would like it more if I reread it, hopefully. Uh, so that was, like, super exciting. That was this last Tuesday. And, um, yeah, and I also did want to mention that Olive from Book Olive and Gemma, I think, from Nonfic, Nonfiction Books or something like that, sorry, I'll link both of their channels below, are doing a Nonfiction November, and I'm super excited, so I'm going to do um, some kind of TBR for that, like, later uh, in the month. And, yes, it sounds like a really good time, because I really need to read more Nonfiction books. And, um, so, anyways onto the things that I'm going to read. Yes. So the first thing that I'm going to read is um, issue four of Bob's Burgers because I came out this past week and I just picked it up 20 minutes ago and I'm really excited to read it. I might actually just read that tonight because it doesn't really count for <laughs> good reads or anything. Um, and the next three things I actually borrowed from my um, my friend who we're staying with. Well, me and Jake's friend that we're staying with. Uh, the first thing is The Halloween T Tree by Ray Bradbury. So it's like super, super short, like 140 pages but like big font and pictures so this should probably take no time at all. I'm really excited because I haven't really read anything creepy or scary or Halloween-y at all and it's the month of October so I should be doing that. And then um, I'm also borrowing from him um, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen Volume 1 and Volume 2. Uh, I have for heard people like not say like the greatest things about it. I think I've heard like things so I'm glad that I was able to borrow them for him to see if I like it and want to get them for myself and like continue on and stuff and then um I also have a uh, surprise surprise Wuthering Heights of Scott Fitzgerald short story of Scott Fitzgerald short stories and another country by James Baldwin I have um like uh, I have 200 pages left of this one I think like 200 pages left of this one and like 100 pages left of this one so wouldn't that be just great if I could just read these three books that I have been reading for way too long so those are also goals uh, I also started um, The Blank Wall by Elizabeth Sa Sangze Holding um, and this is a buddy read with Tanya from Most Obsessed Reader I'll link her channel below as well uh, I think she's enjoying it a little bit more than I am I just am having trouble understanding the motive not the motivation there's just like a lot of stuff that's happening it's like a mystery kind of book and I just the main character is just kind of digging herself in a deeper and deeper hole and it gives me anxiety like I never liked watching I love Lucy or Keenan and Kel because it's all about people doing things and then trying to hide the fact that they did it but then it always gets discovered anyway so like just be honest from the beginning so it's giving me like mm, just tell people but uh yeah so it, it's it's a really easy quick read though I might actually finish this tonight well I'll save it for tomorrow uh, and then if I finish all of those things I'm going to try to make more progress on the stand I'm 100 pages in to this 1440 page book and I did want to finish it by the end of this month so I've got about 15 days left um, I'm going to try to make some progress on this tonight as well before three thon starts tomorrow and then so those are all the things that I want to try to read tomorrow, which feels ridiculous. But I am like, you know, just a couple hundred pages from finishing most of them. And so next week I want to start uh, You by Carolyn Kepnes, Caroline Kepnes. 
Um, everyone raved about this book a lot. Um, one of my really good friends in real life uh, is like pressuring me super hard to read this book because she wants someone to talk to about it. So I'm super, super, super excited to read this. And then also there is the um, the read along for Some Sing, Some Cry that's being hosted um, by Stephen from Steve Reads Books and Dee Dee from Frenchie D. Just kidding. It's so easy to say that. Dee Dee from Brown Girl Reading. She changed her name recently. And uh, yeah, so these are like, they feel chunky. So we'll see what happens. Positive thoughts, right guys? Um, let me know if you're participating in the readathon. I'm so, so, so excited. It's my first one. I don't have Twitter though. So, mm, Voxer. I'm on Voxer. Let me know if you have Voxer and then we can encourage each other via Voxer since I don't have Twitter. Um, uh, yeah, I hope everyone's having a great weekend or good start to the weekend. I know it's like about 3.40 on the West Coast right now of the U.S. So some people are probably sleeping. I don't know. Uh, see you guys tomorrow morning.